Happy Friday! Hey Pee Wee, happy Friday. Friday, mm, you and I are meditating in the pool, taking it easy. Some of our friends have gone up north for some time. Pee Wee and I are just like mellow. I think that's what meditation's all about, you know? I don't know, like, some people like sit in a corner and meditate. I like to go in my pool and meditate, talk to God, figure out what life is all about, where I'm going, my goals, my purpose. Hey, Pee Wee, you like it too? Is it meditating for you? Is it relaxing? Huh? Right? Dogs need to relax too, because they get anxiety, they get anxious, you know? Just like people, stuff happens in their life, right? In a little puppy life, things happen for you. You need to relax and meditate, to swim, right? You know, I, I don't know, people that don't have any purpose or meaning, they find other things to do that are destructive. Like, I remember once reading this. Oh, it's like you're going to sleep, honey. I remember once reading about these rats. And they were in a cage, and they put cocaine in the cage. And first they took the other rats out and left one rat in the cage. And the one rat that was left in the cage could go over and get as much cocaine as they wanted. And the rat was so bored. It just kept going and getting more and more cocaine until it got addicted. But another rat in another cage, they put a hope, they put the cocaine in and then they put friends in another part of the cage. So the rat could choose, do I want to go with friends? Do I want to have a social life? Or do I want to use the cocaine and be alone? And that rat would choose to go play with the other rats. Wow. That was kind of cool. That was like... I loved reading about, you know, this experiment with rats and cocaine, you know. Oh, don't drink the water. That's pool water, silly. Only because it kind of shows you, like, in other ways, like, people get all kinds of addictions. It can be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be sex. It could be love addictions. It could be gambling. It could be food addictions, which is, like, one of my huge ones. But Why? you know like don't stay stuck with that food you know don't stay stuck just there you know allow people into your life uh, allow you know pets into your life like you know love your pet day allow friends into your life you know talk about what's going on who cares be like an oprah open book that's what i find really works for me not hiding stuff, telling people what's on my mind, what's happened, where I'm at, even if it sounds really messed up. Hey, eh? mommy's not always together, but that's how we get together by sharing, you know, our stories, our life. You know, last night in the pool was absolutely amazing with some of my friends sharing stuff and hearing their stories and. They're similar to mine. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. That's amazing that that happened to you. Right? If you, there was, a, on the radio today, there was, the guy said that he, they did a survey that it was like 91% of people in a certain area said that they don't have any friends. They don't have a friend they could call, they could count on. Like, I see so many social people out there. I can't even believe that that survey is right. But then, you know, one of the little girls that I know, she asked me, how do people get friends? I see people that have friends at school and I don't know how they got them. I'm like, what? You don't, you don't know how to get a friend? It's, it's sad. It's not fair. You get a friend by being yourself. By loving and inviting people into your life and taking chances with people and seeing like, how is that person? Are they gonna treat you well? Some people are not gonna treat you well, so they're not a friend. So 
you kind of like push away from them and you push towards the people that are positive, that want to see you go places, that really care about you and don't mind if you give them constructive input. But if you give it, you gotta be able to take it. So when your friend gives it to you, right? And you're like, wow, man, that hits a nerve. But why did it hurt a ner nerve, right? It hit a nerve because of something I gotta work on. And that's what it's all about. And that's why it's great having friends in your life because they can call you on your shit. I shouldn't say shit. They can call you on your crap, right? Hey, Pee Wee, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna swim back? Are you gonna swim back? So anyway, we're just kind of like in the pool meditating, taking some time for us, right, Pee Wee? Right, are we? Just some simple bevy and Pee Wee time. Just floating, thinking, meditating, you know, on a Friday after work, a busy day. I went and did this uh, quote today and the house is really bad. But you know what, I'm even going to go help the girls next week because I find it exciting. Like the house is so, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to use bad words, but the house is so bad and dirty that it's kind of exciting that we get to change it, that we get to clean a house so clean that an agent's going to be able to sell it. And it's so bad that if you walked in right now, you'd walk back out and go, Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'd never buy this, right? But I just walked in and saw all the potential. So we're going to be packing up the gentleman's stuff. You know, his his wife died. He loved his wife. He's going to be moving out of town. We're going to pack up his stuff. We're going to organize it for him. And we're going to clean up that place spotless. And I, on Tuesday, I am booking my best cleaners to do that because... This guy kind of touched something in my heart, and that's why I'm going to include myself in this job, right? It means something to me to be able to do this for him so that he can sell this house and move on to the next level of his life. But uh, anyway, that's work, and it's supposed to be the weekend of play, so we're going to invite some friends over on Saturday, right, Pee Wee? And have some fun? Maybe some relatives and friends come over. That would be nice, right? But today, after work, we're all by ourselves. Oh, it's so nice praying and meditating and thinking and looking at myself and my direction, like where I want to go and what I'm procrastinating about and how I need to move past that, right? It's all kind of cool. One thing I want to tell you guys is when you get that little gut feeling inside yourself, that little, uh, or you can't sleep because you have anxiety, that's something telling you that you're supposed to do something on a higher level. You know? That's something special. I don't want to label it because you're going to have to find out for yourself what it is. That's something telling you that you need to go further. You need to... You need to do that, whatever that is. So I'm gonna say to you guys, fulfill your purpose, spend time alone, figure out what it is that you need to do. Pray, meditate, go to a pool with your baby, enjoy your life, have fun, meditate on your purpose, Feel fulfilled. Don't be like the rat that goes after the cocaine. Be the rat that goes after the friends. Be yourself. Love yourself. And you will attract many, many friends. Many, many experiences in life. This is life. It's to be lived. It's to be experienced. And who cares if we make mistakes? Who cares if we have fights with our friends or whatever? Because it's all part of the process of learning. That's why we're here, we're humans. We're here to learn and enjoy and pray and meditate and love and eat and try to avoid all our addictions from food to gambling to drugs to alcohol to everything we're supposed to, you know. Even if you love to indulge in those things sometimes, like me, oh man, potato chips, man. 
don't keep those in your house because I'll find them and I love them. Keep them away from me. <laughs> oh, God, keep me away from potato chips. Love potato chips in the summer. But anyway, I want you guys to have a great day and love yourself. Give yourself a break. And if you get a chance to go swimming or spend some time with your kids, your dog, your cat, just do it. It's nice. It's really nice just being in here, just thinking and floating, swimming, thinking about my purpose, thinking about my direction, and just loving and enjoying life. Like after a Friday, I'm working so hard. This is beautiful, eh, Pee Wee? Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you guys. Have a great weekend.